What's that sound? Is that- is that what I think it is? It's the meme bell! Roll- roll the intro. It's meme time! It's meme time! Gather all your friends! It's meme time! It's meme time! It's meme time! The only cure for sadness! Welcome back, everybody, to Meme Time. The show that I don't know how to start each and every time, so we stand here and look at each other awkwardly, and then a song plays. Yeah. Let's see what you garbage monkeys <laughs> conjured up today, shall we? I am excited. I'm excited for some memes. I'm excited for to make our dreams come true. It's gonna be a great time. Remember this? Oh no. Did I play the same level in Happy Wheels twice? Like six years apart from each other? Ah, dang it, guys. I'm so sorry. I should have been more aware of the fact that Happy Wheels has a diverse amount of levels that aren't similar to each other at all. <laughs> I actually don't remember this. If I had remembered it, I wouldn't have played the same level. <laughs> I mean, it was for nostalgia week. Everything is foolproof if it's done for nostalgia. Finding that final boss you struggled against as a kid. I'ma do a heckin' violence. <laughs> Jeez. Not gonna lie, kinda cringe meme, but I, I do relate to it very heavily. And you did say it's totally relatable, so I can't fault you for that. There are some games though that I've gone back to as an adult and I've gotten worse at them because I'm just a slow, big-thumbed boomer bitch baby now and I can't play the things that I used to. Back then I was a nubile, slim hip little fucker and I was ready to like fly through the games and I had a good brain then. Not so muchly now. <laughs> so glad I grew up with this, but this is good too. Yeah! I like these memes. I like when it doesn't have to be one or the other. It doesn't have to be like, glad I grew up with this and not this. Like, just appreciate it, regardless. I- oh, damn. What a glow up. Or a glow down, because my hair was fucking neon green. They used to put me at the top of lighthouses so boats wouldn't hit the shore. Go away! This is the rebellious teenage phase, when I would dye my hair because, Screw you, mom, it's not a phase! And then it turned out to be a phase. Uh, but, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Apparently, the thing that changed is that my- the hair was brown, and I got glasses. <laughs> so glad I grew up with this, but damn, this is good too. And now, YouTube comments with Jacksepticeye. I like this meme. This is a good meme. I, people have been asking a lot about the reading your comment series and asking, when is it going to come back? Are you going to do more of them? And I've tried. I've gone back and done them, like, well, a while ago by now. But every time I go back to them, people are like, Jack, you answered this question before. Or, I've- I feel like I've answered the question before, or I'm just answering the same types of questions all the time. And I've done over a hundred episodes of it, so... There's only a certain amount of questions people can ask me before it starts to feel like it's getting repetitive. So, I held off on it for a really long time. But that's, again, why, like you said, meme time. That's why these types of series exist. Because I didn't want to stop interacting with the audience completely. And just do let's plays. I- I still like this kind of like, you guys create some stuff and then I react to it. That's a fun energy for a video, so that's kind of what meme time is all about. Plus, we'll do a little Q&A every now and then. Maybe we should bring back a hate comments one again, that'll be funny. <laughs> what should my next video be? Meme time? Minecraft? Happy Wheels episode 102? God, such an old face that you use. Well, technically a young face, but an old face at the same time. But no, no episode 102. I also found out that they're not shutting down the game. Apparently the developer of Happy Wheels, because Flash is shutting down this year, but apparently they're making a sequel to Happy Wheels, which would be awesome, but apparently they're also working on a Java version of it as well, so the game won't disappear completely. Which I had a feeling about, because I don't understand why they would just let this massive game for them just disappear. Uh, but, yeah, no 102. Teacher, what are you laughing at? Me, nothing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fine, you get this one, if only because there's a height difference. Sure. <laughs> Is she thick? Cause Luigi be hella dummy thick. Damn, boy! Why is that a recurring thing on this channel now? I'm like the one bastion for kinky fetish Luigi lovers. <laughs> For fuck's sake. The manga, the anime, and the Netflix adaptation. <laughs> Look, I get it. I'm shorter than my girlfriend, but most people are shorter than Dutch people. They're very tall. And also, I love it. I think it's awesome. It's a damn fine good-looking couple right here. Much better than the anime and the manga. 
Fuck those guys. Also, let's get rid of that stigma. Guys don't have to be taller than their girlfriends. It's fine. Be whatever you want. You think Kevin Hart's taller than his wife? No. You think Kevin Hart's taller than a bar stool? No. You think Kevin Hart cares? No. I think it's great. I've said it once before and I'll say it again. She's my tall Dutch queen and I love her. Sean Mc- Shut the fuck up. This is good. This one is like- This one is like- This one is- I like this one. Keep this meme going. Keep- Keep that- Just that one though. Sean- Anytime you post another one that's not this one, I'm gonna do a Sean Mc- Shut the fuck up. I like having that. I like being able to tell people to shut the fuck up. Have you ever told anyone legitimately to just shut the fuck up? Fuck up. I never have, but I've always wanted to do. Someone just rambling, talking about something stupid. And you want to be in the middle of the room while everyone else is afraid to say something. You just go, look, Karen, shut the fuck up. Oh, God. Shut, shut the fuck up. <laughs> when you show your mom a meme, but it doesn't have a minion in it. Wow. Facebook memes are strong. Damn. Jack versus the Ender Dragon. That's fucking awesome! Holy shit, I love that! Thank you! Uh, Neo Alex. Thank you so much for drawing this, I really, really appreciate it. That's how it was in my head. That's how, when I was fighting him, this is what I saw. A lot more lens flares and explosions though. But, pretty, pretty accurate. Oh, I should have brought, like, my dogs into the nether with me. Can I even- or into the end? Can I do that? Could I have brought Sam in? Would he have just died? Yeah, probably. Let's not do that. People in 2100. I wonder how the people in 2020 reacted when World War III broke out. People in 2020. It's meme time. <laughs> yeah, all- all- The only thing that's happened with World War III so far is memes about World War III and people dodging drafts. It is an interesting time in history to have a World War scenario maybe possibly crop up. I- I mean, I'm not going to get into it too much, because again, I don't know much about politics and war. I'm just a big dumb Irishman who likes to look at memes. If you want politics and you're YouTubers, then you might want to go to a different place. But it is an interesting way to cope with it, because I feel like people back in the day were probably also joking about them to try and get through it, to be like, huh, it's not so bad, right? <laughs> the world's not as fucked up as we think it is. <laughs> Meme. Or in the good words of my friend Solid Snake would say, War has changed. Earthnicity. Jack uploading meme time, the only cure for sadness. Therapist the next day, need work. <laughs> you know what? J sadness is just one facet of the mental brain. You, just because you cure the sadness does not mean that you cure it all. You can still go to your therapist and still talk about stuff. It's still healthy to go to a therapist, even if you're not sad. Why is it every time I see therapists, I read the rapists? Okay. <laughs> Me thinking Subnautica is gone forever. Jack says he is waiting until Below Zero gets fully released. Why would people think that I would just leave the Below Zero? Subnautica is a huge deal on this channel. It's a huge game for me. I fucking love it. Why would I just suddenly stop uploading Below Zero when it's getting updates and then never ever go back to it? I'll come back to it when it's properly done. Or at least people are saying there's a ton of updates for it right now, but the problem with that is I get into it and then I'm like, wait, where do I go? Where do I find the update? I can't remember what I already did and what I didn't. So, unless it takes like another year to come out. I don't know. Whatever! Subnautica, good! Meme, good! Sadness, bad! Small YouTuber, I really enjoy watching me when they reply to my comment. Oh, That's really nice. I... I have never had a YouTuber reply to my comment when I haven't been doing YouTube. I remember watching YouTube videos a lot before I started doing YouTube. That's why I started doing YouTube. But I have never had a YouTuber actually respond to any of my comments. And that was the reason why when I started off doing YouTube, it was a big deal to me to interact with the comments. Now the comments are so big and bloated and the comment system is a fucking shitstorm. How many comments below are like, Jack, me, Stop it! It's obnoxious! It's the worst fucking comment meme that's gone on for far too long. Normally this shit lasts for like a month. What is this fucking leafy hiss shit? Stop! YouTube commenters. Man, I really wish more YouTubers would reply to comments. Also commenters. Oh, copy paste everything. <laughs> you can't have both. I still reply to comments. Uh, not as much as I once used to. Uh, but I still think it's an important thing to do. I still read a lot of comments, even though most of them are just copy-paste stuff. But I try to at least be in the community and be part of it and not just be on the outside of it showing and shoving entertainment down your throats all the time. But it is a lot easier for smaller YouTubers to reply to comments because I remember when I was getting like a hundred comments a video, which is still a lot of comments, but I was able to answer all 100 of them. 
And that was an amazing feeling because I could answer them as they were coming in. It didn't get bombarded. It didn't get overblown by stuff. So it was a really, really fun time. Uh, and I always encourage people who are starting off YouTube to really listen to your comments and talk to them and interact with them because it's a great source of motivation and feedback. But it's a little sad when I used to always reply to comments a lot. And then when stuff kind of got a little too much, a little too fast, a little too quick, and I just couldn't possibly keep up with it anymore, it did suck to see some people be like, well, he just doesn't care anymore, because I didn't reply to every single comment anymore. That's not the case. And I, I'd wager that it's not the case for many, many, many YouTubers. The majority of them would probably love to sit down and answer comments all the time. It's just very hard, and we have a lot of videos to get done, at least I do. So it's hard to sit down and actually like answer every single thing, but I I at least try. Start of the decade, end of the decade. My god. I remember that hoodie. I had that hoodie for like four years and it really should have been thrown out a lot sooner than it was. Back in the cabin. Man. These are very different people. I mean, same in a lot of regards, but even looking at myself, I'm like, who is that? Is this what the kids call a glow up? Have I gotten it? Have I got the glow up? Did I shine sparkle? Shatan! Fanso! Oh, yikes! The good old race to the ground, boys! Oh my god. That's- I also remember that hoodie. This picture was taken at the back of the cabin. There's just pure woodland behind the cabins. And we were like, okay, we're making a little EP. I actually still have some of them back in the cabin. That might be a fun thing to do at some point, is to give away some of those. So you actually have the album itself. I think I have like 200 CDs just back in the cabin still lying around. Uh, I have one of them here actually, hold on. This is our album. Raised to the ground, risen from the ashes. Uh, and then you have like the four tracks on the back. We had some very good names. Risen from the ashes, spit it out, which I think is actually a Slipknot song. Neglect and your freedom, my bird. We weren't even 14, but we were still deep. And here's the album and here's another picture. If you might recognize the exact same outfits the exact same faces, and almost the exact same poses. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. This was also at the back of the cabin. There's like a peat factory right next door, and we just went over onto the concrete cylinders and stood, and we are like, yeah, we're fucking dope. I had a camera that had a timer function on it. We put them in black and white because we're artistic. They're so cool. Man, I played the fucking shit out of those drums. Those are good times. I do not regret a single moment of any of those days. Those were really fun. I had a great time with all my friends. We had some pretty decent music for our age and our time and our friend groups because no one else was really playing heavy metal music. And the stuff they were playing was not nearly as good as the stuff we made. But we just really took pride in what we were doing. Ah, miss those guys. I, I, the guy in the far right, if you've been to my tour, you know that I mentioned a person named Porig. Uh, and he was my one of my childhood best friends the guy the guy in the very far right But I met up with him and his brother again recently and they were like my childhood best friends So that was that was kind of like a a blast from the past And it's so weird because the last time I interacted with them We were all like very early 20 year olds and now we're all 30 or close to it So we're all like fully grown men now at this point and it's so weird to meet people after that um, That amount of time, but I hope all these guys are doing so well because they deserve it. They're all incredibly talented. You all, y'all, you ever, you ever, you eat, you eat your vegetables. You eat your vegetables now. Dakota, Chicago, Michigan, you eat your vegetables right now. Dead ass. Everyone watching meme time for some fun, laughs, and giggles. That's, yeah. Me watching if my meme got featured in meme time. <laughs> what is that face? What video did I make that face in? I am one handsome son of a bitch. Well, there you go. Now your memes in meme time. Are you happy? Are you accomplished? Can you run into your parents and tell them right now that you made it into meme time? The internet's and YouTube's most esteemed and established meme show. Apart from the several thousand other channels reacting to memes and subreddits. It's all PewDiePie's fault. I blame him. Did this break anyone else's heart? Not sure if it was posted by anyone else, so tell me. Playing Minecraft for the very first time Beating Minecraft. 33 episodes in. <laughs> Aww. That warms my heart. It's really bizarre to think that I had never played Minecraft before. Such a big... As a gamer, uh, as Twitter Gaming's third most talked about gaming personality of 2019. Apparently that's not a joke, by the way. <laughs> 
I have no idea what this list memes, but by God, am I gonna meme the shit out of it. All these times when I'm like, I'm a gamer! Now I have actual factual proof. I mean, not as much a gamer as Ninja, but really, can any of us compare to Fortnite? But considering all the games that I've played on my channel and had never played Minecraft, and now that I've actually gotten to the end of it. I'm glad I finished it. It took a long time, and I waited too long to do the last episode for whatever reason. It's pointless now. But... I'm glad I did it. I'm glad it's over. Well, we'll still do some more Minecraft stuff, but the, the story side of it now is kind of done. I'm the first view! Oh my god, you are! You're the very first view on that video. Now you can hold that over everybody else. You are the... Uh. You are the only person who can say first in the comment section anymore. The rest of you all writing first in the comments, you're all phonies, okay? Gaming Picks one is the only person allowed to say that in any comment section forevermore. We have proof now. There is a first. Ding, ding, ding! New meme format time. Me, my crush, awkwardness. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh my god, so much, so much meme ability out of that one video. I... I've seen the original video for this, the actual Billy Eilish video. I had seen it before the deep fake one that somebody made, and I really liked it. It was so endearing and nice, and all of these younger teenagers coming in and talking about their troubles or talking about how they just like Billy Eilish's music and Billy Eilish's face and her reactions and everything. It's just so sweet. It's so wholesome and nice. But this kid right here was my favorite part of the whole video. Because Billy comes in and is like just standing in the background to surprise them. This girl realizes and is like, <gasps> but they were playing Just Dance and this girl just goes ham. She's still just dancing around fucking Fortnite dancing all over the place and she doesn't even realize, but she's killing it. And I love her for that. She's amazing. Whoever that person is, I love you. You're great. Please keep that energy and that positivity and that vibe for life going because we could all desperately use it. Let me see if I can find it. This. Oh my god, it's the best! She just goes for it and she's still dancing! And then the other girl realizes that this girl is still dancing! <laughs> it's so good! I love it! My weird new format from the latest video, people on this sub enjoying memes. <laughs> Oh, this is great. I love this. Keep on dancing and keep on memeing, you fun-loving little internet dweller. How to talk to your cat about gun safety. And abstinence drugs, Satanism, and other dangers that threaten their nine lives. <laughs> I need this book. Jack, I think BB needs the talk. Yes! Now that I'm a cat dad, now that I have a cat, I need to buy this. Just for the meme alone. My god, what a re- Ridiculous thing for a book. You know what? BB has been a little trigger happy. They're not using proper gun control. Every time I walk into the room, he's just sitting there with his AK-47. I'm like, BB, it's dinner time. Come on, stop. Jack, meme time, depression. What baby am I holding? <laughs> yes, that is exactly what we need, is more imagery of people likening me to Jesus Christ. That's not going to go badly. The Irish, a great bunch of lads. <laughs> Oh, made with me, Matic. Come on. That's pretty cringe, bro. I was I was making a reference to Father Ted, because he does a everyone calls him a racist for he says something to It's an episode, it's all about the Chinese people coming to Craggy Island and he does a thing and it's very funny. But he does a slideshow at the end to prove he's not racist. And then he just switches back and forth between slides saying, the Chinese are a great bunch of lads. <laughs> That's how you get over any racism on the internet. Just X culture, a great bunch of lads. <laughs> Ooh, I love these ones. What what do we got this time? What are we what are we watching? Wait, what's it gonna be? It could be anything. Is it me slapping something? Is it a top of the morning? Is it a Vince from Slap Chop? I don't know. It could be anything. <laughs> oh, perfect! God, that sound effect is so good! Because I edited the Skate 3 video myself, and my goal was to increase all the sound effects by, like, 40%. Just to give them that nice, like, squelchy, smacky, bangy sound. I just fucking love it. It's perfect comedy sound. Oh! 
Oh, fuck! Ah, oh, it sounds like your head exploded. It's called Jack Dance. Top of the morning, you ladies. My name is Jack Sipkine. Welcome back to. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What is this? What? <laughs> what did I just watch? I spent four hours on this crap and Vegas crashed six times. Ah, so you are a YouTuber. I don't know what I just watched, but I enjoyed it very, very much. Thank you. Bandy Pat. Has anyone ever done a Happy Wheels song? How? How dare he? All the way is the anthem for Happy Wheels. It's the song of a generation. All the way was the song of the 2010 decade. It's the best song of that entire decade. I don't care what you think. I don't care what other song has more views or listens or anything like that. I know my bias. Jack, after all this time, fans still making levels and games from his old gameplays. Always. You can't do this to me, man. You can't. That's... This is a double-edged sadness and <laughs> niceness. Snape, the true hero of Harry Potter. Oh, I want to watch Harry Potter now. <laughs> Snape is my favorite Harry Potter character. He's amazing. I... I had only ever read the last book. I read Prisoner of Azkaban. I'd never... I didn't finish it. I got very, very far into it. And then the movie came out and I was like, okay, I'll just watch the movie. I never went back to the book, but I read The Deathly Hallows. I read the whole last book. And I made it a point to do that before the movies came out, and I fucking loved it. It made me wish that I had actually read the previous books, and I'm not a reader. Anybody who's been on this channel for a while knows that I don't really read all that much. I wish I read more, but that book made me cry at, at this moment. And Snape, it solidified Snape as my favorite character, so this is really, really sweet. And it, it does kind of feel like that. It's really nice that people still make levels for me in games, that even though... I've moved on from all of these iconic games over the years that people are still remembering me in a way in those games. And that really warms my heart, so thank you very much. Idaho drops a giant potato on New Year's instead of a ball. Why was I in England? Why was I here? Oh, fuck. I wish I was there as the representative. Can I have that potato? I want to build just a giant... I'm going to build a swimming pool that's in the shape of a potato. In England, all we dropped for New Year's was our EU citizenship. <laughs> Potatoes have skin. I have skin. I'm a potato! That means everyone's a potato though. I'm the only real potato. You know what? <laughs> this is this is poopy. Poopy mean. No, stinky. Get out of here. Boo. This video keeps getting recommended to people lately. I went by some people had said it and I was like, wait. It happened before with the shout-out competition video that I made, the little vlog back then, that got boosted again. And now suddenly this one is getting boosted. I went back and looked at the analytics and there was a huge upswell in views on it. And I don't know why. Why is YouTube recommending this to everybody? Have they recommended it to you now? 2,000 subscribers, six years ago. This, this little boy didn't know anything. First of all, if I was to do this again, great thumbnail, but lose the text. Secondly, start growing the beard now. It's not gonna look good, but it was never gonna look good in the beginning anyway. I also remember that hoodie that I had for way too long. Jesus. I had no sense of fashion then. Or now. <laughs> that was the vlog where I ran down the field saying, I love nature so much! Hello, birds! I was so quirky and random and fun, but also it was to kind of show that, yes, I lived in the middle of nowhere and no one, no one could hear me at all. Lawn McLaughlin, Dawn McLaughlin, Swan McLaughlin, Gone McLaughlin, Swarm McLaughlin, Brown McLaughlin, Yawn McLaughlin, Prom McLaughlin. Jack is Jack, okay? I don't care how they want to do it, but Jack is Jack. Why would they change Jack? Jack is Jack. I'm so glad that this meme is not dead yet. So super happy. You know all those times when I was like, man, this is the funniest meme ever? Yet yeah, never happened. Let it die. Happy birthday to all the moms out there. Crazy that all moms were born on the same day. Speech 100, intelligence 100. I love the reaction to that tweet because so many people were like, uh, Jack, I don't think that that's really how it works. I'm like, wow, guys, big brain. We got a big brain here. See? See, no one cares. Oh, 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 I've seen this. They said, make Jack see this. This is not my video, but make him watch it. I've seen this before. This is the one where they dubbed in a bunch of YouTubers' voices over some of the superheroes. And I get to be Spider-Man, of course. Uh, and it's super good. I mean, it's 9 minutes and 40 seconds long, so I'm not going to watch it all here. But I'll show you some of it. There's other ones as well. Hold on. <laughs> what the? Ah. Oh, 
Nice to meet you. Wanna be friends? <laughs> oh, fuck this. It's still running from us. <laughs> so Delirious is War Machine. Mark is Iron Man. Uh, Felix is Ant-Man and I'm Spider-Man, but it's only- I think Corey Kenshin then is, uh, Black Panther. Um, but it's only the masked superheroes. Right. And away I go! <laughs> Don't make me get angry. I wouldn't stress about it. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Those are some old Felix lines. You won't know where I am now! <laughs> 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 Jesus, that's good. Oh, watch this. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Get down to the ground. Ah, oh, crap. Not today, buddy boy. <laughs> it's so good. I oh God, I can't remember who actually made the first one. A oh, Dr. Soap. Okay, so go watch that one. But there's another one that I had seen before. Oh my God, the shield's cool. I love this. Whoa. The shield's cool. <laughs> So, who talks first? I talk first, you talk first. Kid, there's a lot going on here that you don't understand. Spider-Man, not listening, man. <laughs> so good! Whoa! Oh, my country! <laughs> I like when things are easy! <laughs> <laughs> it's just a boy time! <laughs> you got hard, kid. Where are you from? Ireland! <laughs> Brooklyn. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, Ireland! <laughs> Damn, that's good. I, uh, God, I want to be Spider-Man. Can I be Spider-Man? It fits so well. Uh, this person, Nathan McRae, made a bunch of them. There's a, there's a ton of them, like Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, Spider-Man versus Avengers. Nathan McRae made a Deadpool one, though, that has 2.6 million views, and this is also amazing. I also want to be Deadpool. They're, my, they're both of my favorite superheroes. There it is! The song of a generation! Hi! It's me. How is everyone? I'm having a great time! Murdering all my friends. Well, they're not really friends, but friends really attack you and kill you. Probably not, bro. <laughs> it's fun! Uh, as much as it hurts, but it, it just makes me laugh anyway. It's a funny kind of pain. And I'm ready to kick some ass. That's so good! How? This is a Mark song. <laughs> <laughs> Fist me! Fist me, Felix! <laughs> ah, fuck yeah! Here's my picture. <laughs> Jesus <Wow>. Christ! <laughs> this is very violent! <laughs> it's funny because it feels like stuff Deadpool would actually say in the middle of a super violent car chase where he's killing everyone and be like, this is very violent. Okay, last one, last one, last one. I know, I'm looking at a lot of these, but... This is another one that they made, where I fight Francis, and this is 5.6 million views. Which is crazy! Hey dude! How's it going? Is there supposed to be a challenge up here somewhere? <laughs> okay, let's take it from the top! What better way to crawl back inside that head of yours? You really want to nobody but stuff. <laughs> you better get out of my fucking way, because I'm a can't of fuck you in the face in a minute. <laughs> Down. Hey, you grow back body parts now, Wade. When I'm finished, parts will have to grow back here. <laughs> this motherfucker thinking that he can beat me. <laughs> that would make sense, <laughs> but also fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How did you find such good clips to put in? I, I realize how many sound effects I make as I play games. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm ready for you. <laughs> fuck over! <laughs> 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 Oh, man. So good. Nathan, thank you for those videos. I saw them years ago, but I'm so glad they exist. I want to be Deadpool. Well, that's gonna do it for meme time. What a very strong way to end it off. Ow! But don't forget to keep on memeing and keep on dreaming. If you want to hang out with everybody, submit some memes, go to the subreddit, r slash jacksepticeye, uh, and join in on the fun. But don't forget to smack a big old like on this video and subscribe if you want to. And until next time, I'm gonna see all you meme dreamers later. Bye-bye! <laughs>
So young. So precious.